right, here we go. Here we go. What's good, everybody? Lockout Man back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate when you guys see the notification and y'all hit that button to listen and relax and chill on the conversations that we have over here on the Lockout Man podcast show, which is the best conversations starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. What's going on, everybody? We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. And today's video, man, I mean, the the Bobby Reach situation continues, man. You know what? I like this guy. I really do. I really do. I, I like this guy. I like his attitude. I like his 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 bubbly disposition. I mean, he's I mean, look, I want to be honest. Let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. And I don't want nobody to jump in the comment session and be like, yo, lockout man, you hating on this guy. Why are you hating on this guy? No, it ain't that. I like this dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the dude, pff, the dude's funny. <laughs> I mean, let's I mean, let's put it out there. I mean, he he's bubbly, he's energetic, he's funny, you know. I mean, he's just a he's just an all around, a all around electric type of guy. I mean, he gives off good energy that you just really want to be around. All right, all right. But so. So I am not, you know, I'm not talking about him in a bad light or anything like that. I mean, bro, do what you do. But let's be honest, though. Let's let's be honest. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. I'm just going to say trucking is not for you, bro. Say what? And, and listen, hold up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. Just just listen to what I have to say right quick. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Look. Trucking is not for you, bro. I I think I think what you are, you know, you the type of personality that you have, you should express it more. Um you should express it more like doing comedy skits, doing skits like that. There's a whole genre on YouTube where where guys just doing skits and all like that. I think you'll fit right into that, man. Check out check out my man Big Jai, uh Kelly Scott, L J Television and go over there and see what I'm talking about and you'll understand why I'm saying that you would fit right in that category, bro. You will. You will. You you literally will fit in that category. You you give that type of energy and that type of vibe that will fit in that in that particular category. Now, as far as over here in trucking, I understand where you coming from with this trucking thing, because I've been saying this for a long time, bro, especially for you new millennials. Right. I, I think you mentioned that you're like in your 20s. A 27, if I'm wrong, I know you you look like you're in your 20s, so you're a young cat and you're a millennial. Basically, you're not in this for the love. Like a lot of us veterans, a lot of us uh old schoolers, a lot of us 80s, 90s, 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s drivers, we're in f we're into this for the love we're into this because of the sacrifice that we know that we know that we putting into doing this type of career this type of this type of job now i understand people in you know as young as you are y'all y'all don't want to be away from the limelight y'all don't want to be away from the clubs y'all don't want to be away from your family your girlfriend your friends and all like that. You don't want to be away from all of that. Unfortunately, depending on now, listen, depending on which way you go with trucking, you can do regional and be home every two. I mean, be home every week. If that's good, you can do local and be home every day. But just know that if you do local, you're going to be doing some work. I'm just saying. And there's the dreaded 
OTR. Now, a lot of people back in the day, including myself, used to say, yeah, you got to go OTR in order to go local. But that's no more. That's no more. You can go local right out the gate. All right. I'm just saying. But just know that some local companies is not going to just be pulling up and and docking and all like that. No, local companies, you're going to be getting out of the truck with a dolly and all that stuff. You're going to be doing some work. You're going to earn you're going to earn that $1,700 a week, <laughs> okay? You're going to earn that $1,700 a week, <laughs> all right? But again, bro, I'm I'm just saying that what you want to do and how you want to do it and how you want to how you want to proceed with it, I honestly think trucking is not for you, bro. Now, you made a comment. You you made a post that I want to touch on and I want to and somebody made a comment on that post that, you know, I want to touch on, too. And let you know, um, let you know that I am a subscriber. I am, you know, I am a subscriber to you. So I'll just let you know. Um, unfortunately, I don't have you on the all, you know, with my bell, you know, the bell notification where it says all. I, I think I just have it in the middle so a lot of your stuff don't come through like it's supposed to but this this comment that you this post that you made was sent to me and it and they asked me what were my thoughts about it so of course i thought instead of just you know instead of just talking about it i thought i'd just bring it out in the video all right so here we go my g thinking about doing a live stream while driving of course, it's going to be dead silent because my eyes will be on the road and I won't be able to respond to any of you guys. For what it's worth, at least all the people who are thinking about getting into this could see how driving over the road actually is. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? 33% says it's a good idea. 67%, including myself, says it's a bad idea and don't do it. Before I jump into the comments, because some of the comments are, I, I just think that some of the comments in here are from, from people that's not even drivers. All right. I think this is just from people that just, just wanted to just wanted to say, hey, do this, do that, do this without understanding the repercussions or the penalties or anything like that that could and would happen to you. All right. So here's my thought on it. My thought is no. Like no, God. No, God, please. No, 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 no. Trust me, you're not the first. I said it before. I'll say it again. You're not the first, bro. You're not the first. There's many people before you have done this. There's been many channels that has done this, bro. There's been many drivers, including myself, at one point that went live while driving, while having the camera focused on the road and just talking. But let me tell you this, you're not going to be focused, even though that you said you're going to keep your eyes on the road. No, you're not. You're going to you. Your eyes is going to wonder and they're going to have to wonder. They're going to have to go from mirror windshield to mirror every five seconds. And within that five seconds, you're going to take two of those seconds to see the comment. Trust me, it's it, it, it only takes two seconds, bro, for something to happen. It don't take that long, especially in trucking. You know, you can see a comment and you can veer off the road and you can run somebody off the road. You can see a comment. You can see a comment that takes your mind out of it and you can run into the car ahead of you or a truck ahead of you. You can see a comment that would that that would take your yo that that would touch you and you have to 
answer it. And it only takes two seconds, bruh. Two seconds. No! For something to happen. So, no, it's not a good idea. It never will be a good idea. But some drivers do it anyway. If you're not on TikTok, bro, just go over there on TikTok and see what I'm talking about. There's a community of drivers over there that does this every day. So, no, you are not the first. <laughs> you are not the first, bro. This, like I said about you're not being the first of stuff happening, you know, of companies finding out because you told them. You, you're not the first, bro. Just think about that. Just think about that. All right. So I want to touch on some of your comments in, in, in that post. <laughs> Kelly, honey, felon, CDL journey. You know what, Kelly? I, I definitely want to talk to you, man. I'm If you're a felon and you're in the trucking industry, that's always made for great conversations to see where y'all was at and where y'all at now. So if you want to reach out to me, man, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave a comment on, on Bobby's page so that, so that you can reach out to me, but I definitely like to hear your testimony. All right. You said my opinion is that you should not do it. Period. <laughs> Period. You will be distracted. Yes, you will. I, I, I just said that. You cannot read comments while you're driving. You must remain focused on the drive. Exactly. Exactly. You got to remain focused on the job at hand, bro. On the job at hand. If you want to do something like that, listen. If you want to do something like that, just leave. Just get yourself a dash camera and then just record everything and all like that. And then, like Tiki said, come back and 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 put a voiceover over it. That's it. That's it, bro. Put a voiceover over it. Look, live streaming while driving is not important. Your CDL is important, bro. Being focused is being important. Being the safe driver is important. Now, here's here's one. Ants feed, I guess that's his uh that's his name. He says, do it. You can do it. He says, if you can really stay focused, my brother, because I'm really interested in getting my CDL. But learning more about OTR life would be nice. Ants feed. That's that's not the way to learn about OTR life. The only way you're going to learn about OTR life is that you have to come out here and actually live it. You can't you can't live the life through somebody else's eyes, bro. See, that's what I just said before I even started uh, the conversation is that a lot of these a lot of these commenters in here that saying do it, go ahead and go ahead and show it. I don't think it'll be a problem. These are non-drivers because I don't think a real driver is going to come in your comment session and say, yeah, bro, I think it's a good idea. Go ahead and do it. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that at all, my G. We're going to, us real drivers is going to try to give you the game on being safe. All right. We're not going to we're not going to turn around and say, say what he just said. I'm thinking about getting my CDLs or I'm interested, meaning that he don't even have his CDLs, bro. He's not even driving a truck and want to know more about OTR life. There's man. Look. In order to know about OTR, you got to you. You got to live it. You can't live it through nobody else's eyes, bro. Here's one from Dream Hippie Casmir, Cat Cas Mister, or whatever. Dream Hippie. He says, I like live streams where 
it's live and nothing is spoken. So, yes, definitely do it. Just make sure we can see the road and that you stay focused. Wow. Just make sure that we 